Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Nolly, and today I'm going to be filming a life update and Q&A video. I recently moved to Austin about two months ago, which is literally insane. I keep telling people that I moved here about a month ago, and I'm like, wait, it's definitely been longer than that. It's just weird because it still just feels so new. Um, I mean, I feel at home in a way, but there's just still so much to explore. There's always roads that I end up on that I'm like, where am I? And I'm also directionally challenged, so that doesn't really help. Quick background about me. Um, I just graduated from UCF in May with a radio television major. And um, I moved here to Austin with my boyfriend. He got a job at Oracle. He went to UGA. We did long distance um, throughout college and we've been together for almost seven years in January. So six and a half years right now. My boyfriend and I met in high school, sophomore year, and we were both raised in Roswell, Georgia. Um, so it's really interesting and honestly, it's been a culture shock here in Austin, but I wanna make a whole other video about how I'm liking Austin and just kind of like the, the assumptions we had and I wanna definitely do that video with Ryan. So that video should be coming up within the next month or so. Um, but today we're just gonna kind of do a little update on me and what's going on in, like my life. So I did get a lot of questions about job hunting and how's that going. I'm gonna be totally honest with y'all, it's not going too well. I honestly just feel so content in my life right now, like with the flexibility and everything. Like I want to find a job that I can work from home, but that's honestly a little bit unrealistic, especially for a first job. I am always looking at Indeed and LinkedIn and Monster and all of that um, and kind of applying to, you know, what I see could be a good fit. I have not had really any luck. Honestly, I didn't even know that companies don't respond to like literally majority of your applications and resumes. I was shook when I found out that. Like I applied to so many and I maybe got two rejections and then like I didn't hear anything from the rest of them. Um, but I did interview at one company and I was kind of low-key talking about it in my vlog um, because I really thought I had it in the bag. Like I'm not going to lie. I made it to the third interview, met the CEO, and then the employee that I was messaging back and forth between to set up all the meetings, like he, I think was the co-founder, something like that. He's pretty high up too. And basically he was like, yeah, we'll like meet up in time down more details like later. I don't know. It just all sounded kind of like I like was going to get the job. After my third interview, the guy said he'll let me know the next Tuesday. And he waited like two weeks to tell me that I didn't get the job. So this is all just a learning process for me because I've never really interviewed for a job before. I feel like I've always gotten jobs and positions through referrals or because I already know people and it's just very different here in Austin. And that's where I'm kind of struggling right now. And I really, really, really want to pursue photography and videography here in Austin more than anything. But the thing is, I don't really know many people here and it's hard to kind of get your name out there because in Orlando, I built my name and reputation up for four years. And my senior semester, was when I was getting hired the most, like gig after gig on my plate. And it was like the most amazing time. And I literally thought it was like, okay, I made it, like it's gonna be like this forever. But of course now moving to a whole nother city is starting from square one. Um, so I've been having a lot of trouble with that. And I'm kind of realizing that I'm going to have to do some free work here and there which honestly, like I, I enjoy doing photography and videography, so it's not horrible to do free work, but I know that my work is good and good enough to be paid for. So that's kind of where I have to like swallow my pride and just be like, okay, got to do this to get my name out there. Like maybe they can refer me to someone else because it's all about who you know and you never know who they could tell about my services. And that's how it was my whole college career. One time I filmed a video for a fraternity and it was a free job. It was honestly when I was kind of like getting into videography, so I didn't really mind. And then later on, that guy that hired me, hired me for the fraternity video, got me a connection with College Weekly. I don't know if you guys know what College Weekly is, but 
they used to be like a YouTube platform and like a whole Instagram that had so many followers, just posted college stuff, posted like sorority videos and stuff. Now like they make you pay to post your sorority video, which is so stupid, but honestly really smart on their part because obviously everyone wants to be on College Weekly. Um, but yeah, so I got a connection to College Weekly and then College Weekly referred me to an apartment complex that hired me for four gigs, two in Orlando and then two in Tampa. So honestly, it's just meeting the right people and it's like a domino effect and I just, need like a few people to kind of get it started you know so i'm working on that right now and i do need to do like a whole rebrand for my sonali productions page which is an instagram account that i have for all of my creative stuff videography photography literally anything so if you guys are interested in checking that page out i'll put the link in the description box and it would make me so so happy and grateful if you guys can follow that page because i put my heart and soul into the projects i do and post to that page i recently went to orlando florida and back to my college town to see all my friends and get my Invisalign because I'm so stupid. I started it in my college town and I knew I wasn't gonna be there after graduation. So I had to go back and like get my last set of trays, which is good because I'm not trying to fly back there every two months. Um, but yeah, so I had to get that, but it was so nice seeing everyone, but it was also nice because I was craving like seeing Orlando and just being back in my college town for so long. But then when I actually got there, I was like, okay, well, this isn't anything great. So it kind of like satisfied me for a while, which is good. But hopefully now my friends can visit me here in Austin. I know I got a question asking, when am I gonna do an apartment tour? I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't have a job and I'm slowly running out of my savings. So I will start decorating once I get a stable income. Um, and I really really want to decorate so bad. It makes me sad to see like all the walls pretty bare I mean, I do have like this decoration, but this is literally a corner of the guest room So it's not much and the living room needs a little help But the thing is Ryan is all about simplicity and he's like I don't want you to like make everything super busy I like it simple and I'm like, okay, I understand that but like I'm not gonna have like blank walls like a nice frame right here would be simple but nice and like flattering you know not too busy um so I'm gonna have to work with him on the decoration when I get that income <laughs> the last thing I wanted to update y'all on is my health journey I was sitting here in this chair about two months ago or a month and a half ago and I made a video about how I really felt in college and just after college about my weight and how much weight I've gained and it was just not a fun time and not a good place to be in but I honestly feel so much better about myself like almost a complete 180 like not there yet but like definitely almost there I haven't really lost that much weight I think I lost like maybe three pounds but then I'm staying at the same dang weight like every single day which sucks I had a phase where I was eating pretty clean for a while and I was doing intermittent fasting and then I kind of stopped when I got to Orlando. I was eating not the best foods and then I came back and I was just like not into it anymore. Um, but I'm still like doing Orange Theory and this week I'm gonna try to eat better <laughs> because I feel like I'm putting in so much work into Orange Theory that it's just kind of dumb to eat so bad and like not even see a difference. Um, but I have been taking progress photos and that's what's kind of giving me hope because I see like that I'm Thinning out I guess a little bit here and there like my arms. I can tell they look a lot thinner and I hope my face looks a lot thinner, but I feel like I can't tell myself because I see myself every day So I don't know but I am in my second month of doing orange theory. I think it's been a month and a half um, And I think I finished my 20th class today, so I'm doing it almost three times a week or sometimes like four, but not very often. <laughs> so that's how I've been lately, but now I wanna get into the Q and A. There's actually been a lot of common questions, so I don't think there's gonna be too many questions, um, but I just thought I would kind of answer some of them. The first question is, how do you get your hair to stay so shiny and sleek and favorite hair products? Okay, so I get this question honestly quite often and I, feel kind of bad when people ask me this because I think it's literally just because I'm Indian like Indians 
usually have really good hair and really shiny hair and I think it's just my jeans. I'm like, oh, I like wish I could tell them a specific product that gets your hair like this, but I really think it's just my jeans. So I hate to bring it to you, but like, I guess it's great being Indian, you know? But um, some of my favorite hair products, um, not to get like sleek and shiny, but one of my favorites right now is the Whey Texturizing Spray. I'll curl my hair pretty tight, and then I'll spray the texturizing spray in my hair and just mess it up, and it gives you that really cute, like messy waves kind of vibe. So that's definitely been my go-to hairstyle lately. Also, I may get questions about my hair right now because this is like a very rare thing for me to like wave my hair and I just started doing it. But I'm gonna put a hair tutorial of this look either on my channel or my IGTV or both, so I will link it down below either way. The next question is, is it hard to balance finances now that you're out of college and independent? 100% yes. <laughs> the first couple of months, I had a whole bunch of money saved up from literally the four jobs I worked my senior year. And now that savings is sadly going very down very quick. And I honestly thought that I would have had a job before I ran out of my savings. I definitely spent a lot of money obviously moving here and getting furniture and a TV, a couch, like all the like little necessities. And obviously we wanna explore the new city, so it's kinda of hard saving money. And it's definitely hard when you're trying to meet friends. And majority of the time when you're hanging out with friends, you either buy something or you eat out. So it's definitely been kind of hard. The next question is, what's your favorite drugstore foundation and high-end foundation? If y'all have watched some of my beauty videos recently, which I haven't really done many recently, but there's probably one um, with this foundation that I'm about to say, but I love the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. It is my favorite drugstore foundation. I haven't really tried that many, but it's really freaking good. And um, they also have a pro matte if you're super oily. And I've tried that one, but honestly, my face is way too dry to wear it because it's like kind of drying. So it may be good for oily people, but I use the Pro Glow, it's so good. And then my high-end foundation would probably be something of NARS. Next question is, do you have any regrets from college? I probably have so many that I can't really think of right now, but I would maybe say like not getting more involved, which I kind of was, but like maybe getting more involved on campus um, instead of just my sorority. I literally gave my heart and soul to my sorority. Um, which was great and all, but I feel like there were so many other organizations that looked so much fun and like that you could have met so many more people and had more connections. So I definitely would say like if you are going through recruitment or just got into a sorority, I would say try to balance your time between external organizations and your own sorority because you never know like what could come from each of those organizations. Like you're just gonna meet more people and more connections and network even more, so it's gonna be better in the long run. Next question is, are you and Ryan planning to have two weddings for both cultures or just one? So I'm actually Catholic, so I'd probably just have like a normal wedding, but I definitely want kind of like an Indian fusion wedding. Like for instance, I'd probably have like a henna or a mainly night. And then for my reception, I always had this dream of wearing like a white, Langa, which I don't know if y'all know, but it's pretty much like a crop top and a skirt, but it has like all this beaded work and I just want something like very flashy for my reception. Um, so we'll see if that actually happens. I definitely want to mix some of my culture in it. Um, probably not the wedding ceremony, but like other things around that. So yeah. Next question is, do you miss UCF? And yes, uh, thousand percent yes i do i miss just being around people 24 7 because i was living in the sorority house so i was surrounded by people and it was just nice to never be alone i also really liked living on campus um in my sorority house because you could literally just walk anywhere and everything was so convenient the two years that i did live in the sorority house i barely touched my car which was so nice like because either you would carpool with other sisters or just Lime bike everywhere, which RIP Lime bikes. I'm so sorry to y'all UCF students that can't experience that convenience, but it was so nice. Um, but there's probably other ways of getting around, but I thought it was just so convenient because you didn't have to like walk and it would take you half the time. 
and you would get a little nice breeze on the way because it's very hot there. I think I just miss being social and having everything at my convenience. Next, someone asked, what is the truth about sororities? I literally have so many sorority videos on my channel. So if you guys are interested in learning more about them and maybe what to say and what to ask a sister or what to wear to recruitment, I literally have every topic under the sun in this playlist linked down below. And I actually just posted a vlog of me going back to Orlando and you can see live footage from um, inside of sorority recruitment so if you guys are interested in seeing that that video will also be linked down below next question is how do you feel confident when taking photos in public I honestly just have to think to myself like it's gonna be worth it because I'm gonna get a really bomb ass like Instagram photo out of it um, and sometimes you just kind of have to block people out of your like mind and your vision honestly i try to make everything super quick so if ryan's taking my photos i try to um, make sure he knows the specific angle i want before we start shooting and make sure like he knows the lighting and i sometimes have him like stand in really quick so i can like fix the lighting and all that um but that definitely makes it more efficient so it doesn't take as long the next question is how did you manage to be a good saver do you have any tips I really don't know where the hell you got that I'm a good saver, but thank you. <laughs> I would say the most helpful thing is just having an end prize. Um, I'm not a really good saver when it comes to just having a cushion or just like an emergency fund, but I am a good saver when it comes to something I want. For example, when I moved to Austin, all I wanted was a really nice and big smart TV, and I also wanted a white couch. Spoiler alert, I got them both because I put my mind to it. I worked hard my last semester of senior year and made sure that I had a good chunk of money to move here because I knew moving was not very cheap. The last question is, what is your nationality and background? So I am fully Indian. My parents are both Indian. My mom was born in Chicago, but her family is from Kerala. And my dad was born in, I think, Bangalore. And his parents are from Bangalore, I think, or Mumbai. I think Bangalore though. I'm pretty sure Bangalore. So yeah, I'm fully Indian. That wraps up this life update and Q&A. I hope you all enjoyed hearing what I've been up to and how my life's going. But if you have any other questions for me, then comment them down below and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.